What's up guys, welcome to a very quick guide on killing the Alchemical Hydra, the new Slayer boss in old school RuneScape. First and foremost, you are going to need to get a Hydra task from the new Slayer Master, Konar. To find Konar, simply head to Zaya and the Kebos Lowlands. The closest teleport, unless you have the diary completed, is the Fairy Ring. This code for this Fairy Ring is C-I-R. Very simply head there, head up the mountain, use the agility shortcut if you can. Get an assignment from Konar. If you get Hydras, consider yourself lucky. Head on into the dungeon with your best range setup. Twisted Bow is better than a Dragon Hunter Crossbow is better than a Blowpipe. That's pretty much the tier list at this point. If there are any updates to that, I'll be sure to update the description of the video. If you have access to a Dragon Hunter Lance, that may be better than something like a Blowpipe. We're not really sure yet. Hasn't been tested enough. But we do know for a fact that the Alchemical Hydra is weak to range. We've monster examined it. So the fact of the matter is, range is going to be your best bet. Twisted Bow, Dragon Hunter Crossbow are probably your best weapons. Now, as you come into the dungeon, make sure you buy some Boots of Stone from Konar. They will protect you from the heat effect of the dungeon. You're going to run past the normal Hydras and over to the east here, where is essentially this kind of setup stage, this kind of setup area for the Hydra boss. Now, before we get into the Hydra boss, I'm going to quickly talk about the normal Hydras here. Normal Hydras have a very simple mechanic. They will attack you three times with range and then three times with mage. They'll alternate between these two attacks over and over and over. I'd recommend killing a few normal Hydras just because the attacks look the same as the Hydra boss, but also they behave very similarly to the boss. It's a good baseline for you to get killing normal Hydras before you go off and kill the boss. But you can see he's swapping between attacks. I'm not going to waste my precious Slayer points on killing that guy right now. But I'd recommend killing a few normal Hydras to get yourself familiar with what the range and mage attacks look like. Now, the Hydra does give you a good idea of what attacks he's using, the mage attacks come from a different side of his head than the range attacks do. So once you identify the attacks, they look a little similar at first, but much like anything in RuneScape, once you get used to it, it's pretty easy to tell. Now the Hydra comes with a very, very simple set of mechanics. The Hydra will lose heads as you do damage to it, and every time it loses a head, it changes phases. Those phases need to be weakened by dragging them onto the corresponding plate on the ground. Combat triangle rules. So if the Hydra is green, drag it onto the plate that is red range phase, drag it onto the melee. Now, when we go in there, it starts on a green phase. Starts on this phase every single time. We'll have to find out whether he's using range or mage. It's random. Unfortunately, I've really not been able to figure out if there's a method to forcing him to use one attack. It's just one or the other. So as soon as we go in, we'll figure out what attack he's using, and then we'll start dragging him around to the plates, and we'll talk about the kill more in depth once we get in there. For now, let's go. Looks like someone killed my Hydra for me. Dang it. So in we go, looks like the Hydra's using Mage, I guessed wrong, and I go ahead and run to this marked tile over here. I've gone ahead and marked it for myself because it just makes my life easier. We see he's used three Mage attacks. At the very beginning of every phase, the Hydra will always use a special after its first three attacks. So it also gives you a chance to switch your prayers basically pretty easily. So once he's weakened on this red plate and uses three range attacks, I'm going to switch my prayer to Mage and I'm going to drag him preemptively down here so that he's right next to this plate, so when he switches phases, I'll be able to weaken him immediately. Again, we're keeping an eye and counting our attacks, making sure that every three attacks we're switching between mage and range prayers, and we're still attacking the boss. Once he switches to blue, drag him onto the green plate to weaken his defense, and then wait for his first three attacks. After his first three attacks, doesn't have to be three range or three mage, it's just the first three basics, he will throw at his special. His special are these lightning orbs. The lightning orbs will stun you if they catch you. Don't let them catch you. Uh, it's not fun, and uh, simple as that. Now, I do get caught by these quite a bit, I'll be honest. Um, I haven't quite figured out the perfect way of completely avoiding those, but as long as you're running, you should be fine. Do enough damage, he'll switch to the red phase, and you have to drag the red phase onto, guess what, the blue plate. Now, once you get him onto the blue plate, I would highly recommend coming to this square right here. This is the square that I've had the most success with, because his special move is kind of fire wave attack uh, is a little trickier to dodge than the other ones. Basically, he'll trap you into this area and you're going to want to just run around dodging flames. So as he launches these flames, start running immediately. Eventually, the fire will die out, but follow this simple pattern right here and you'll be free of the fire. The fire does stop eventually uh, and it stops pretty quickly, as you can see. So if you run all the way over there and to the side, you'll be free of the fire. Last but not least is his Enraged phase. During the Enraged phase, he will switch back and forth between range and mage attacks. The attack he starts with is the attack that you were not praying against before the phase started. 
So keep that in mind. You're just switching back and forth between prayers. And simple as that. Now, after the first three attacks, he will use that poison splat. So keep that in mind. But from there, as soon as you get hit with one attack, switch your prayer to the other one. la di dee la di da You have killed yourself an alchemical hydra. Good luck on the hydra boss, guys. I hope this walkthrough has helped you. If you need to watch the kill again, obviously feel free to rewind the video. But that is it for this very quick walkthrough. Hopefully this simple guide has given you a way to kill the hydra. Best of luck slaying out there. See you in the next one.